Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks. I'm here today with the LEGO City Set Sports Car 8402. This was released in 2009, and what we're looking at right now is the main car itself. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the other accessories in just a moment. The car is actually a pretty nice build. It does have a sporty look to it. It has a blue chair mold piece that is actually inserted into the vehicle, so it has more of like a, a special, luxurious type of feel for the uh you know, for the driver that's in there. The driving, you know, the steering wheel is actually pretty low to the ground when you have the, the driver in there. And it actually does have a small gap. You might see a little bit of orange in there. Well, that's a little bit of an odd area. Otherwise, I think it's actually a pretty nice looking car. It does, I do like how it looks from front to back. It even has a little bit of lights on the sides. And it's actually pretty well put. It doesn't have any storage space. What you see is all you can really do with it is just you just roll it. But you do have the one minifig. It's pretty standard. And I'll see if I can get it a little bit closer so that you can see how the inside looks. Because that's really plain. And I think at the time, I think they could have done a little bit more to add on there. Just a few more pieces could have made that a little bit better. But yeah. I mean, if I were to modify it right now, I would say I could probably add like the gauge one by two slope piece that's printed um, that's come out in some of the 2016 sets or even the radio from the double decker couch set would be a nice little add on in there so that you can fill in that gap, but also have it accessible for things. And I'd also move this steering wheel up a plate or two because you can hardly see it from where he's sitting. Now, other than that, we also have a few other components. But as part of the set, you get this round tree, and you get a little telephone booth. And these are actually nice things to add into the set. It kind of creates the story of the set in which the car breaks down, and the guy goes to a phone to call in a repairman, and they do have a repair truck set from this 2009 city line as well. I love this round tree. I've never had one before, but I really love it in person. It's something that's very unique, and it's been appearing in a lot of different Lego sets over the years, but it's something I've always seemed to manage to avoid. And I really do like the style of it, even though it is very circular. I guess you could say it's just trimmed to a circular shape, you know what I mean? But it's a very nice, outstanding piece. Um, I also like the little telephone booth. It's a nice build. You could consider it just a repair call booth, you know, just for... For calling a tow truck but it could be just a phone booth for anything really you could change around the colors of it if you want to but you pretty much get your basic you know phone receiver um and you get the little control panel there so you can see you know what you're dialing so it's not too bad for all that in a small set i believe when this set came out originally it was around ten dollars but i'll put it in the description if i find a you know, what the actual information about the set is. But that's all you see here, and that's actually pretty nice. For its time, it was not too bad. And for now, eh, it's a little bit lacking, but I still think it's a neat model to add right in to a LEGO City setup. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this set, and maybe did you have this set? I actually found this one recently on eBay, for roughly the same price, I think it was about $10, so it was pretty good. And especially for getting the round tree in it, <laughs> it's actually probably one of the better ways to get it on the black market. Uh, thanks for watching again. We'll see you next time. Uh, you can check out more LEGO videos on my channel, a lot of LEGO City videos. Um, I'm even working on some modified cars, so you can check out some of those in my mock section. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.